Good morning, Greater Latrobe. Welcome to Wildcat All Access, where we bring you news from all of our Greater Latrobe Wildcat teams. After an unexpected bye week, the football team is back in action tonight at Connellsville at 7. After losing a high-scoring and hard-fought game against Upper St. Clair, the boys are looking to make Connellsville's 0-4 record 0-5. Jack Stragus had the chance to ask Johnny McHenry, Chu Chalea, and Tucker Knopp about the season so far. I'm um, the center. And the offensive line has been performing very well. We haven't let Landon get sacked once in the pocket. In the last game, he threw for 385 yards. I'm a kicker. Uh, my longest field goal was 38 yards. That was in Friday's game. I play middle linebacker and tight end. And so far, I think our season's gone all right, but could be better. Got to finish our games better, get better results. The Greater Latrobe girls volleyball team hosted the Norwin Knights on October 1st and it turned out to be a match where both teams fought each other until the final point. It came down to the final set where the Wildcats recorded a 15-12 win and a 3-2 victory in the match. Emma Fenton again led Latrobe on the offense scoring with 13 kills to go along with her 5 digs, 3 blocks, and 1 service ace. Latrobe Middles also played a large part in the Wildcats scoring. Anna Rafferty and Emma Blair both rec recorded 8 kills and accounted for 3 blocks apiece. Directing the Latrobe offense were Lily Fenton with 23 assists and Emma Fenton with 12 assists. On the defense side of the ball, Bailey Watson paced Latrobe with 12 digs. On Tuesday night, the team dropped their section match of the year to Oakland Catholics. Senior Emma Fenton set the offensive bar Latrobe with 9 kills, with the balance of scoring produced by Anna Rafferty with 4 kills and a team leading 5 blocks. Maya Kralik, Gracie Wetzel, and Emma Blair each had 3 kills. The Cats are back in action Tuesday at Penn Trafford. We now go to Luke, reporter Luke Hamity for a look at what is going on with the girls' tennis team. Thanks, Brennan. Your ladies' cast tennis team is having a record paced season. The Cats finish off the season strong with key wins against Derry and Penn Trafford to secure first place in section. The girls finish off the season with an undefeated team record, and they are looking forward to a memorable postseason. Both the Latrobe girls' tennis double teams advance to the finals of the section doubles. This is the first time both Latrobe teams were one in two in the section in 15 years. Congratulations to Jenna Bell, Addison Kammerer, Maya Jane, and Caroline Walters. Good luck to these girls in the playoffs. Now back to you. Thanks, Luke. Here's Ben Hamney with an inside scoop on the boys and girls soccer teams. The boys soccer team is heading into their second half of the season hungry for winning. On Saturday the 3rd, they played Taylor Alderdice where they came out victorious 2 to nothing, with Nolan Agostoni putting up two goals and Tanner Sable notching a shutout. This week, they played Tuesday night for a non-section game against South Portland. They won 9-0 with goals by Will Casey, Nolan Agostoni, Ryan Banks, Quinn Norman, and Ben Hamity. All three goalies shared a shutout. The girls soccer team had a game last Thursday, October 1st, against Norwin and suffered a tough loss 5-1. They played Alderdice on Monday, October 5th and went home with a 5-0 win. Lauren Davis had a chance to talk to the captains and coaches about how they feel about the season so far and what their hopes are for the remainder of it. From what I've seen from our previous games and practices, it's looking like our season is going to be very successful this year. I agree with HK. A lot of our team is like younger, so them coming up and improving our team as a unit and we're just becoming better as the season goes by. I feel like so far it's been to a really good start and I see a very promising future for us. Um, so far this season, I have high hopes for us. We have a lot of really good incoming freshmen that play a big role on our team. So this season, we got a, a big influx of freshmen that are going to look to make an immediate impact uh, in our dynamics, as well as we have a good amount of returning starters. Uh, so between our new fresh energy and our experience, we're going to look to um, find our new identity as a strong, powerful unit and um, look to really push the boundaries in our section. We had another shakeup this year. Uh, and our section always presents a good challenge. My hope is to obviously make the playoffs because every time my team steps out on the pitch, we give 200%. For my hopes and goals for the season, I'm hoping wow. that we make it to playoffs, but who doesn't have that? So. One of our goals is to make it to playoffs. My goal for the season is to get a better record than last year and make it to playoffs. But our ultimate goals throughout the season are to find those small wins, scoring more goals, um, preventing the opponents from finding the back of the net, and then ultimately looking for that playoff run um, that's been just beyond our grasp. And I think with, with our personnel this year, um, between the fieriness that they bring and the technical ability, we're really going to uh, turn some heads along the way. 
We now go to Brandon Fetter for an update on the field hockey team. Thanks, Brandon. The girls' field hockey team went on Monday 2-1 against Upper St. Clair with Lauren Jones scoring both goals. On Wednesday, they looked to take on Woodland Hills. They looked to push their streak against Oakland Catholic on Monday, who has a record of 0-4. Back to you, Brennan. The Wildcat Cross Country teams traveled to White Oak Park in McKeesport Saturday to compete in the Bald Eagle Invitational. The girls squad finished 9th out of 17 teams in the AAA race, while in the boys AAA event, the Wildcats finished 5th out of 18 teams. Clara Herr earned a Top 25 award after breaking the 20-minute barrier with a time of 19 minutes and 55 seconds, which was good for the 15th place. The boys were led by a potent 1-2 punch of Dante Frischiera and Drew Kozic, who each shattered the 17-minute barrier. Their 10th and 11th place finishes earned the boys, both boys awards. The teams hosted Greensburg-Salem and Penn Trafford in the final section contest of the season on Tuesday afternoon. The girls' team defeated both teams while the boys split their matchups, defeating the Warriors but falling to the Golden Lions. Clara Herr won the girls' race, completing the course in 20 minutes and 53 seconds. Lexi Planinsek followed with Aubrey Cable, McKenna Scatell, and Hayden Cranick scoring for the Lady Cats. The boys were paced by Dante Frescura, who ran third overall while running his best time ever on the home course, clocking in at 17 minutes and 23 seconds. Joseph Hill, Matt McCreary, David Inn, and Cohen Fulton rounded out the scoring. The Wildcats traveled to the Legends meet at the Trumbull County Fairgrounds on Saturday and returned to local action October 15th for the county championships at Westmoreland College. Reporter Addison Lemon spoke to some of the runners and Coach Simpson. Freshman, and it's a solid team overall. I'm sad to say this will be my last year, but I think that this will be a good one to end on. Um, I'm just glad that we are able to have a season with everything going on. Um, the team is really like my family, and I'm sad that this is my last year. I think we've gotten a lot closer as a team, especially with the circumstances we're under. Uh, I feel like we've gotten a lot closer at the meets and taking advantage of the time we have together while we have it. I'm proud of a lot of the young guys. We have a lot of good freshmen, sophomores that uh, really stepped up whenever uh, times got really hard for us, whenever they didn't know if we would have a season. They're, they're a good group of people. They're sometimes kind of silly, but generally cross country are good, good kids and I like working with them. The boys and girls cross country team has been working very hard this year and has shown a lot of improvement. They have both been doing really well with their meets and the freshmen are showing a lot of potential. In other sports news, the Hall of Fame is a new and a very exciting project underway for the boys basketball team. Along with a renovation of their team room, the Hall of Fame is going to consist of pictures along the wall of every team to ever win the section title for basketball for Latrobe. It is going to be a great source of motivation for the team since they will get to walk through it before every practice and game. Thanks for joining us for the Wildcat All Access. We will see you next week. Let's go Cats!